Okay, so we have absolutely no signal here, but I guess there's Wi-Fi. We're going to try to get on that. Uh, we're going to cook supper tonight on this George Foreman Camp tailgater grill. We're going to be cooking Kingsford premium Cajun style smoked sausage, some peppers, some onions. Maybe I might do some tomatoes. Um, that's going to be our supper for tonight. Maybe some potatoes. I think I'm going to cut some potatoes up too. So let's just get right on it. Today you're cooking with the gorilla with all the M23 camp cooks today. A fancy schmancy uh, apron I got from Cooking Secrets for Men. I love to eat and therefore I cook. So with this underneath the griddle is all your components. Your dip pan you want one and then screw this under here then your propane tank sits right beside it and you put your griddle back on the griddle is two-sided flat on one side and ribbed on the other Now that knife looks awful sharp. If the gypsy isn't careful, she might end up cutting that right through that cutting board of hers. Oh that's my good boy. A lot of open spots. Alright, these things are about done. Now it's time to eat. Need to be good with some mustard or need to make some potatoes. Alright, so it looks so good. Can't wait to dive in. And it was pretty easy, and it's pretty easy to clean too. So we enjoy using this when we're camping, along with our other camp stoves. This makes it very convenient. Hey, 
This was Thursday night. Now pay attention. There's a big difference from the first night to the second night, Friday night. Check this out. This is breakfast this morning. There's some sausage. I got some butter here. I'm gonna do an English muffin. Some toast. And cook up a couple eggs. There's Boondocking with Boomer out doing his laps. He walks around the campground a few times. A couple people do. See? Another one. They get up early and walk. It's pretty nice. Alright, Timmy just wants eggs and toast. We do have some butter, so let's get ready to do this. I'll show you our cooking. Right here, like that. How's that? Can you see it? Do it like that. How's that? That's pretty good, right? Alright, we gotta get this thing going first. Coffee in our French press, like we showed you in our last couple vlogs ago. So, we boiled our water in the morning, or last night, and it was ready this morning. Because we kept it in this. Stay hot, all I do is get up and press it. Smells like uh, bratwurst, or I mean uh, Johnsonville sausage. I'm gonna use these links. Get that all the way up. This is what they look like. I'll show you what they look like when they're done cooking. So our coffee is Black Rifle Mad Science in a can.
Bien. I'm gonna pepper this just a little bit. from home and I'm hoping this is fairly level we're gonna find out and my sausage here is a blocker and we're gonna salt and pepper these Crushed pepper is always going to taste better than fresh pepper. It's going to give you a smoky flavor. It's kind of a combination of peppers rather than just black pepper. Starting to work really, really, really good. Here we go. You can separate it from the egg. I'll just flip it all at once. Egg cooked with bacon or sausage. So Tammy just wants to toast, put on some butter. Throw our bread on it, make sure it soaks up all that butter. All right, we got to assemble this make muffin. Cheese. Egg. Cheese. folks but camp style Ooh, that's hot camp style egg McMuffin right there and that is hot boys all right so our toast is doing well I'm gonna do the other side for her and get her egg cooked up and we're gonna sit down eat some breakfast we don't normally eat breakfast, but we love eating breakfast when we're camping.
hit that like button for this video hit the subscribe button if you haven't already share this out and keep finding the art and everything guys peace y'all Alright, so there you have it. It's our breakfast this morning. Not sure what the day plans, but we're gonna have hamburgers tonight. I do want to give a big thanks to Mark Kratz MC. We've used the can opener he sent us, and every fire we made this entire camping weekend was done with the ferro rod and steel that he sent us. So Thank you a lot. Thanks a lot, Mark. Now this is night two, Friday night, and this is after everything has calmed down. It's about 1.30, almost 2 o'clock in the morning. Uh, we do get up at around 4.35 o'clock, so uh, it's not giving us too much sleep. Uh, some campers have yelled at these people at this point. Quiet time was at 11 o'clock. I'm not quite sure what time uh, they did settle down. I think it was close to 4 o'clock. Uh, but we did get up um, shortly after that. I got about an hour's worth of sleep. And then uh, we got up and we got our beef bacon out. And that's coming out up next. We make our beef bacon for breakfast. Uh, it turned out really good, so stay tuned. All right, guys. So this morning we're going to be making beef bacon. Smoked beef bacon. I've never had beef bacon and some eggs. Now they are having a pancake breakfast. We'll probably donate to that. It's going for a good cause, but we'll cook this. Uh, I'm not sure when the breakfast is, and we like to get moving a little earlier than everyone else. Well, some people. There are some people up. They were up late last night making orange. So this beef bacon cost less, it was like three twenty eight, but it is only ten ounces. It's smoked. Fully cooked and cured smoked beef plates.
And I did season it with a little garlic, salt and pepper, and some herbs. So let's build our English muffin. I did fry up some peppers and onions, and we're just going to go ahead and use American cheese. It's quick, it's easy, it's delicious. I have some cheddar, some habanero, and some other things, but look at that beef bacon. Doesn't that look delicious? Let's just give it a try. Beef bacon. Let's see what this tastes like. Let me shut this light off. Okay, now we want to put on these peppers and onions. Very nice. The American cheese. And this beautiful over easy egg. and onions. Hey, we're, eat, we're living the dream. Let us know what your favorite thing is to cook while you're camping. Keep finding the art and everything, guys. Now, I know there's no such thing as anything but pork bacon, but this is good. This is the next best thing. Maybe the best thing since steak and eggs. That is delicious. Go ahead. He was also on his way to the showers. Yeah. And it, it, it had rained the night before, so not too far from the pavilion, there was a rather large puddle. Puddle? Probably, you know, 10 by 10. Yeah. And I had stopped at the edge and turned around to say good morning to him. And, and then I, I looked down at the puddle, and he's approaching. And I looked at the puddle, I looked at him, I looked back down at the puddle. Look back at him. He says, "You're not thinking what I think you're thinking, are you?" I said, "Yes, I'm thinking what you think I'm thinking." And so he got up to me. I said, "One, two, three, and we both jumped in. Oh my! It was just an impromptu. Sure. But what was really cool, we ended up doing it two more times, and we did it on film. Nice. So then this past summer. We repeated the process. We dove in Lake Superior. Wow. Dove in Lake Michigan. Nice. Once. Very cool. Yeah, we, we just say, oh, it's fine. You're going to try to hit every every puddle of water there is. Every puddle across the nation. There you go. Where we're at, where there's water, we're going in. That's an ambitious. Nate's not here with us this year. Yeah. He's back in Canada. Something happened, yeah. Doing his <laughs> 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 Yeah, so. Whoever can join us, and uh, we're going to do it. And if I do it by myself, well, <clears throat> here's to you, Nate. <laughs> yeah, here's to you, Nate. <laughs> I'm going to put on my camera now. Awesome. All right, the last thing we got to cook is our chili. We're going to be cooking in this Surge milker, stainless steel milker. Uh, we are making a meat chili. Uh, Call Me V is making a vegetarian chili, in case. But we're just going to use a few medium peppers, some green peppers, onions, hamburger. We're going to cut up some tomatoes. All right, so we got a few packets of chili seasoning. Three quarts of our homemade canned tomato juice. A can of G8 juice. Some fire roasted diced tomatoes. Some black beans. Some garbanzo beans. Some mild chili beans some great northern beans, and some kidney beans. Some more mild beans. 
We're gonna put the peppers, the onions, the tomatoes, and the hamburger, which I am gonna season and cook up first. Stick it in that, uh, stick it all in here, and then we'll slow cook it for probably four, four hours or so until the potluck. Slow over the fire. So pretty easy. We're just going to brown up the meat. We're going to put it in here. We're going to add all the ingredients. We're going to put on low heat, uh, get some coals on the fire, and then we're just going to cook this for until it's time to eat. Pretty simple. I want to give a big shout out to Mark Kratz who gave me this can opener. I always have my wallet. And when the cans don't look like this, I still got a way to open them. Appreciate it, Mark. Kratz, MC, right here on YouTube. Thought they're nice and hot, boiling. Smells good. Should be delicious. Okay, here we are. We got a bunch of desserts and cookies, gluten free brownies. There is some peanut butter stuff here, so if you got an allergy, be careful. And look at this wonderful display of food. Not sure what all this deliciousness is, but there is a bunch of it. It's so good. Here we got the surge pot. A lot of crock pots here. And uh, I do know Tim made some of his famous egg rolls. There's some right here. You can see them in there from Mo Bang for your bucks. Famous egg rolls. Try to get a little bit of everything. A little chili dogs, whatever this is. Parmesan, sweet potatoes, the famous uh, pork roll, Mo Bang's pork roll, vegetable chili call me bee, some white chili chicken, some rice stuff, some meatballs. We're gonna try it all. Beautiful people, from Call Me Bee. It's called Broken down cheesecake for kids. Which is three B. The bees like it. Keep telling me what it is. It's jello, cream cheese, and some frozen raspberries and a bit of water. Wow, and sounds and amazing. And, and yeah, graham crackers with a crust. Sure. Like this. It's like a dip. Yeah, exactly. Mmm. So not everybody wants spores, so we have broken down cheesecake. Wonderful, that's a great idea. Yeah, like everybody else guys but yeah <laughs> we kept thinking oh, those had things to do soon, but... well i'd let them go i thought maybe on the week so they had a little uh karaoke or dj night or something with a fire every night down at the pavilion uh charlie grace Another YouTuber right behind us had these cool little light things. Uh, I put it in a super slow, and this is what it turned out. Looks pretty cool, though. Okay, so this is Saturday night, and we didn't cook breakfast for Sunday morning. Uh, we packed up and left. We did have a great time. We have a lot of logs coming from this meetup, and we get, look forward to going to M24. And as always, we want to thank you all for watching these vlogs. But we want to give a big shout out to our members. In Tribe GMVG Tier 2, we have Mary Ranch, Just Doing Our Best, Native Wildman, Danny D, the spectacular supporter. In Tribe GMVG Tier 1, we have Roy and Becky's Travels, Time to Shine Homestead, and Aerial Viking Ventures and Victuals. Thank you guys so much. You all are legends. We also want to give a big shout out to our Patreon supporters. Most of these supporters have been supporting us from the very beginning or shortly thereafter. So we do appreciate that very much. We love you all. Keep finding the art and everything.